Hey gang, it's Powerhouse Pen Waters of Soul Advantage Mobile Notary and the host of Maryland Coins, where we explore cash opportunities and notarial services and bring you some of our movers and shakers that are in the business. And most of them live right here in Maryland. And so today's mover and shaker is my dear Eli. And so Eli, take it away. She's going to share us her journey and give us some great information about why business credit is power. Take it away. All right, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as Pam mentioned, uh, I am Wydera Ely. I am also a notary here in the Maryland area. And I just wanna share a little bit about my journey and how I got started in the business or uh, for the most part about helping people with, with credit. So I'm originally from uh, New Jersey and about um, 2016, I moved from New Jersey and I moved to the West Coast. I stayed out on the West Coast for a year and um, me and my two sons, we just did not like it. We wanted to come back to the uh, East Coast. So I did not plan to come back to the East Coast so quickly. So when I came back to the East Coast, I decided to come here to Maryland to Prince George's County. When I decided to come here, um, some things slipped through the cracks. But once I came here, um, I decided to make Prince George's County my home. And deciding to do that, I went to a home buying seminar because I said it's time for me to settle in and it's time for me to buy a home. When I went to the home buying seminar, at the home buying seminar, there was a real estate agent there, there was a loan officer there, and there was a credit specialist there. When I went in, I went into the... Um, to the home buying seminar, telling the real estate agent all the bells and whistles I was looking for in a home. I told her I wanted a town home, I wanted a white kitchen, stainless steel appliances, all that good stuff. And then she stepped out of the room and then the loan officer proceeded to pull my credit. And at the time, because I let some things slip through the cracks and I was not, I didn't prepare for that move to come back, my credit was not where it needed to be. So he said, all is not lost if you do X, Y, and Z, I can get you pre-approved for your mortgage. And I was just like, okay, how do I do that? And so, you know, I said, you know, I got my kids, I'm working. How am I going to get myself to where I need to be to get pre-approved for the mortgage? And then the credit specialist, she just basically stepped up and said, I can help you with, with that. So she told me it was $99 to enroll, $89 a month and um, to sign up for the program. So I went right home and I signed up for the program. And let me tell you guys, within 90 days, my score improved 100 points. And that 100 points put me well over what I needed in order for me to get pre-approved. And today I'm sitting into my, in my home. So that 90 days, um, once I saw that, I said, you know, I know I'm not the only one that needs help with their credit. You know, here I am, I have three degrees. And I'm, one thing I know about the school system after working in there for 21 years is that the school system doesn't educate people about credit or financial literacy for that matter. So right. I said to the young lady that helped me, I said, well, how, come, how can I become a credit specialist? Because I know there's a lot of people that need help. So she told me how I could become a part of it. And then I kind of been rocking and rolling ever since. So for me, it was more about educating people about credit because I know that's something that so many people have been missing um, and, and needed help with. And then that led me from educating people about their personal credit, it led me to this whole world of business credit because from there, I um, decided to transition out of education and just be, become a full-time entrepreneur. So that's what, um, you know, now I'm also a notary. And so me and Pam kind of connected because I'm also part of the notary group coins. Um, and then we connected on that. So she asked me to come and be a part of the show. So what I'm going to do at this time, Pam, do I have uh, screen sharing capabilities? I'm going to talk. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to talk to you ladies about business credit and how you can leverage business credit to expand your notary business or any business that you may have. Okay, because I know most of us have multiple businesses. Mm -hmm. All right, so give me one second. I'm going to share my screen. All right, let me see. All right, I should be able to pull it up now. Here we go. All right, can everybody see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so it should be in present mode. All right, so we're gonna, again, we're gonna be talking about business credit. Now, this is a very, very informal uh, presentation. So at any point you have a question, feel free to uh, stop me. And this is uh, for those people who may not know anything about business credit. Granted, some people may be at a higher education level and may know, you know, have already started their LLC and may have started, you know, establishing it 
business credit, so you may know a little bit more than others, but this is at a very basic level. So this is like business credit 101. So again, if you know some of this and are already ahead of the curve, that's fine. But if you don't, feel free to take the time to take some notes, or if you have questions as I'm going along, feel free to, you know, like Pam said, stop me, ask me questions, um, and, and let's engage and indulge and have a, a, a conversation because my goal is just to educate people about credit because what I'm finding out, especially people of color, have no knowledge on the, the, the way you can really leverage business credit, you know what I mean, and keep it separate from your personal credit. And um, I hate to say this, but the other color has been doing this for a very, very long time and we just getting hip to it. So I'm just being real. And, and, and once I came into this world, it's to me, it's just such a shame that we don't know more about this and the power that it can, how it can really help us grow our businesses and really help us break generational curses. Really a step further than generational curses, it can help trans transformational curses. So when I say mm -hmm. transformational curses, I'm talking about not only help us, it can help us help our families. So like you could really put your families on when I say that, if you have a business, you can help your sister, your brother, your, your cousin, you know, it could really help a whole wealth of people uh, get to a whole nother level. So mm -hmm. I'm going to begin at this point. All right, let's see if I can get this slide to go to the next slide. Hmm. Oh, here we go. All right, so why establish business credit? The reason why you want to establish business credit is because business credit is totally separate from your personal credit, okay? And when you have business credit, you often, once you get, and I'm going to explain a little bit further as we go on in the presentation, you often get um, approved for limits three times the amount that you would when you uh, have uh, business credit. So with personal credit, let's say you get approved for a credit card for $25,000. With business credit, because you're running a business, you're going to get approved for limits like $7,500, $150,000. Imagine what you could do with that type of buying power if you had those limits to expand your business, okay? So that's one thing you want to uh, definitely keep in mind. The, uh, the reason why you want to establish business credit because you want that buying power to expand your business. And you also want to keep it separate from your personal credit. I mean, just God forbid, if something happens to your business, you want to still be able to leverage your personal credit and keep that separate you know, you don't want to taint your, you know, your personal credit score. So you want to keep those two things um, separate. So again, I'm hoping everybody, uh, once you decide, or if you have a business and we all are notaries, you want to either establish an LLC, an S corp or a C corp. I have personally an LLC, um, limited liability company. Um, and also when you establish your LLC, you want to connect, it's going to ask you, do you want to connect to the IRS? And you definitely want to connect to the IRS because you want to get a EIN number. You need that EIN number because that EIN number in business is just like your social security number. So when you establish in business credit, you want to use your EIN number instead of your social security number, because that's how you can connect to uh, Dun & Bradstreet, which I'm going to explain to you is the uh, main business credit bureau. You want to be able to connect to them by using, and they're going to be able to identify you by your EIN number. Just like with your personal uh, credit score, you they recognize you by your social security number. Dun & Bradstreet will recognize you by your EIN number. So you definitely want to make sure you have that. And you also want to make sure you have a business bank account. Okay. So does anybody have any questions about that? Can you tell us the difference between the three? Three. The LLC, S Corp, and C Corp. Okay. okay. So only thing I know, and I don't know everything about it. Okay. I know okay. Uh, the, the LLC is a limited liability company. And I know, for example, if someone tries to sue you, they can't touch your personal finances. I do know that part. Um, S Corp, I'm not too sure about the difference between an S Corp and a C Corp. I know some people say they use an S Corp um, like as a big corporation, but I'm not sure the difference of the, the two. I just know for me and what I was trying to do and build my home-based business when I started out in a credit repair company, when I did my research, the LLC fit my company the best, okay? So um, I'll, if, whatever you decide to choose, I will always recommend do your research on each one of them before making a decision on what you want to 
uh, choose. That's how I came up with using the LLC over the S Corp and C Corp. And I can't, at the time, I can't remember why I chose, I know the, the LLC was a limited liability company and I didn't want no liability if someone tried to sue me and that's why I chose that. So again, I would recommend just do your research more on what an S Corp, will, S -corp is and a C Corp. I can't right offhand tell you that information, but whatever you decide to choose, make sure you do your research, okay? Any other questions? All right, so business credit versus personal credit. Business credit, with business credit, you get a paydex score, okay? A paydex score is a number you will get with Dun & Bradstreet, and that number is between zero and 800, okay? The whole goal with business credit is that you wanna get at 80 or above, okay? When you get at 80 or above, that's ball game. You can walk into any where and get whatever you want because that considered that's considered excellent business credit like when, when we say with personal credit if you got a 700 or above you got excellent personal credit but with business credit 80 or above you have excellent uh business credit so you can walk in a car dealer and buy a car with uh, your business credit and you won't have to PG it. PG it means personal guarantee it. You, that means you don't have to put your name behind nothing. You can use your business to buy a vehicle if you have a paydex score of 80 or above, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, another thing is you get approved again for limits that are three times higher than you would with your personal credit, okay? That's the joy and beauty of business credit because they know you running a business and they're gonna give you those high limits, 100,000, 150,000. I, I know um, with the Divi card that I just got approved for, I know some people who got approved for $400,000 worth of business credit with this card. So again, you talking about major capital. Imagine what you could do with that $400,000 worth of capital to expand your business. That's a major game changer right there. So again, think about that. You ain't, you, you may, I'm not saying that it's not possible, but I, I'm not hearing too many people on a personal level get that type of capital, but with business credit, you can get that, okay? Again, use your EIN number to apply for credit. Oftentimes, even when you're starting off, and I'll show you this on a late, later slide, when you starting off um, with your net 30 accounts, and one of the accounts I'm gonna show you guys how to get is a gas card. It's gonna ask you on the application to put in not only your EIN number, it's gonna ask you to put in your social security number. You don't ever wanna put in your social security number unless you have to. Um, the goal is to build business credit with just your EIN number. So again, your, when you're talking about business credit, you just wanna build it with your EIN number because that's your social security number for business credit, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Personal credit, again, you have a FICO score or a Vantage score. Um, and I don't know why with personal credit, we talk about Vantage scores too much because when you go to buy something, they're really looking at the FICO score. But a lot of times, um, like again, with uh, Credit Karma, Credit Karma, if you go buy Credit Karma, they give you a Vantage score. But when you go to, to car dealerships or if you want to get a mortgage, they're looking at your FICO score. So understand the difference between the two, okay? Uh, normally the Vantage score is slightly lower than a FICO score. If you go to Experian.com, that's your actual FICO score. So I always tell my clients that I help go to Experian.com because that's your actual FICO score. That number is accurate, but Credit Karma is not accurate. So they want to know, well, when I went to go buy this car or when I went to go apply this, to this mortgage, they gave me a different number than what Credit Karma say, says. And I tell them because Credit Karma is giving you a Vantage score and then when they go to pull your credit for your mortgage, they're looking at a FICO score. So you got to understand the difference between the two. I mean, it's, it, that, that whole FICO score game is, and, and that's, a, that's, that's another game within itself because there's a FICO 8 score, there's a FICO 10 score, there's so many different systems. So you got to know what you're looking at in order to understand what the creditors are looking at and what they're taking when you're going to apply for something. So you're not confused when you walk through the door, you actually know what your scores are. So you know what your buying power is when you walk through the door. So you know how to negotiate and play the games that they're expecting you to play, okay? Mm -hmm. So again, um, uh, when you're looking at your personal credit, use personal credit is used when you can buy a mortgage, you know, when you're applying for a mortgage, car, credit cards, things like that. 
But even if you build your, like I said, build that pay that score to an 80 or above, you can buy a car with your business credit, okay? I know people who do it all the time. And now I'm learning that. And again, I'm still learning some things. You can mm -hmm. buy um, a car. A lot of people, you see these people um, buying these G-Wagons. You can write that whole G-Wagon. There's something, some kind of law called a 6,000 pound law. The whole G wagon, if it if it if it weighs a car weighs a, a truck weighs a certain amount of weight, you can write the whole payment off on taxes. So mm -hmm. I'm learning that there's little tricks and trades. We think of people walking around here balling, they they they, they learning the tax laws. They learning how to write things off. You know what I mean? They went in all kind of ways. So we're now again when I say people of color, we just getting hit to this stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, we wonder how Donald Trump you know, who never paid no taxes. We wonder how he never paid taxes. He know that tax code, you know what I'm saying? We gotta learn it. And, and that's why I thought it was so important that I'm not charged for this information. I wanna give this information for free because I feel like we behind on the eight ball. So I want all my people to learn and know and understand. And I'm still learning too. So just like I'm learning, if you know something, share the information with me, I'm gonna share the information with you. And that's why me and Pam, when we spoke, we hit it off because I'm just about educating people. You know, if you learn something, I learn something, we learn together because we are behind the eight ball. And I really believe that we would never seriously catch up and be on the same playing field because the people who are writing the laws change the laws all the time. So again, mm -hmm. you know, when I heard that about the car, I'm like, darn, damn, you can write that whole car off. No wonder these people out here balling out the window. And I'm, I'm sitting here struggling, trying to pay, you know, make ends meet. They know, the, they know the tax code. They know the law. Uh -oh. The kid about to get a card and go get her G-Wagon. I see it. That, you know, know what? I was, I was actually about to and buy that. People buy cars and start, you know, I, I, I was able to buy a car with my business credit and start a whole car rental business. I'm going to share with that with y'all too at the end. Yes, yeah. true. That's right. right. Yeah, so I'm going to share that with y'all. All right, I'm going to go to the next slide. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. yes, I have a question before you. Yeah, I have a, yeah. Okay, we got some questions. I'll stop for a second. Yes. Um, where do you find the pay decks in the Don and Brad Street um, side? Okay, so you will find your pay deck school when you start your business credit, and that's a couple of I'm great. I think two slides now. I'm going to show you how to get once you get your EIN number, you have your bank account. There's something called net 30 accounts and part of net 30 accounts. Um, I go, I use nav.com and nav.com. You use that to get your, um, your Dun and Bradstreet credit report. And the reason why I use them, because not only you can get your, they help you keep track of your credit report, but they also report as a trade line. So that's why I use them. So that will help you keep track of your paydex score. And they also, on this slide, I was getting ready to go over this, will help you keep track of your Experian business credit score and your Equifax business credit score, okay? So I'm going to get into that a little bit more, but um, that hopefully that answers your question. And then we had another question real quick. You don't have to pay for it, correct? Yeah, nav.com, there is a fee. Nothing's free. <laughs> Everybody wants money, honey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. But it's, it's not expensive and it's used. That's why I said if you use NAV, now the basic fee for NAV is $29.99. Now, when I first started, I was paying the basic fee, fee but what I, I've learned, if you use NAV Boost, it, it reports as a trade line and also it will report to the other two credit bureaus to give you that score because you're going to need a score because when you start off, you, some of the new, the net 30 accounts may not report to Experian and Equifax business. And you want something, you want to score for all three. So, you know, if you get a score for all three, that's giving you more powers because when you go to get those credit cards, as you build, you want them to, you never know where they're pulling the credit from. So you want to get that uh, uh, NAV boost which I just got because I didn't know. No one teaches me this. You know, you know, I'm trying to figure this out on my own. And that's why I'm sharing this information with as many people as I got I can because I don't want y'all to make the same mistakes I'm making. Um, but with um, uh, NAV Boost, it reports to all three. So you never, you know, you have a score. So when someone, let's say if you apply for, I just got approved for Capital on Tap. Let's say a Capital on Tap pulls from Equifax Business, 
there's a score there for you, okay? And then they see that you have established credit from Equifax. I'm just saying, I, don't, I can't remember where they pull from. But once they see that, then they say, okay, there's a score there. They may ask you to connect to your business bank account. Okay, she got money in the, in the bank. Or they may do a soft pull with your personal credit, okay? And of course, you want to make sure your personal credit is in order because even if they do a soft pull, you want to at least have a 680 or above, then, okay, that looks good too. Then they, that's when they start approving you for those high limits. I just got a $20,000 capital on tap uh, business credit card. You know what I'm saying? And then- yeah, right. Yes, then they'll start approving you for high, you, you know, they give you credit increases over time, then it'll go to mm. 25, then 40, then, you know, goes up and up and up, you know. So somebody else had a question. Hi, this is Chandra. I necessarily didn't have a question, but when you were talking about like tax breaks or tax deductions, there is a book called 475 Tax Deductions for Business and Self-Employed um, Individuals. It's an A to Z guide um, to hundreds of tax write-offs. Well, thank you for sharing that. I'm going to definitely buy that book. I appreciate uh Oh, book club. Where's the engine? Okay. We'll get a book. We'll get the book. Bye. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. All right. So I'm going to continue on this slide here. Again, this is business credit versus pre personal credit. Again, with business credit, the three main credit bureaus are Dun, Dun and Bradstreet is the number one. So again, if you don't have, and I meant to mention this in the beginning, if you don't have a Dunn's number, you need to go to Dun and Bradstreet and you can get this for free. Please do not let nobody charge you for anything. And also when you go on to Dun and Bradstreet, they will try to call you and sell you stuff. Tell they butts no thank you because they charge yes, you they will. money. They will try to yes, charge you a thousand for service, 1500 no, thank you. You just need to get your DUNS number, okay? So you can start building your um, business credit, okay? But a lot, what I'm learning, a lot of people never even heard of Dun and Bradstreet, okay? So go to Dun and Bradstreet, get your DUNS number. Only thing you have to do is fill out your business information and it populates you a number, okay? So you got to get um, a DUNS number so that your, um, the credit bureaus, um, excuse me, that your business credit will report to Dun & Bradstreet because the Dun & Bradstreet is the main business credit bureau, okay? So we got Dun & Bradstreet, we got Experian Business, or they call it Experian Commercial, it's the same thing. And then you got mm -hmm. Equifax Business or Equifax, Equifax Commercial, okay? So those are the three when it comes to business. For personal credit, we know we have Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. In business, there's no TransUnion, okay? So that's the, the difference here, okay? Mm -hmm. right. Anybody have any questions about that? No questions. I'm going to go to the next slide. I got to find a the little thing. It's down here somewhere. All right. It disappears. All right. Let me just make sure. Okay. Let me go. All right. Here we go. All right. So establishing business credit. And you might want to write this down because Starting off business credit, you kind of got to do it in what they call tiers. Uh, there's like tier one accounts, tier two accounts, and tier three accounts. And you don't want to apply for them all at once because if you do that, you're going to get rejected. You got to start from the basics and build up. And it takes a couple of months. It doesn't take long to build it, okay? But you want to take your time and apply for some, you know, the first month or whatever and let them report you know, for the first two months, and then you start applying for some others. So the ones I always recommend starting off that you, I know you want to definitely get approved for is the net 30 accounts. So you got your companies like Granger, Uline, Quill. Um, you could either do a BP gas card or a fuel man. I have a fuel man gas card. Let me tell you the trick with the gas card. The trick with the gas card, you can go online Pull up the application. You fill everything out on the application with the gas card, no matter what gas card it is. You fill everything out but your social. Do not fill your social security number out because this is a business account. You don't want this on your personal and you're not PG in it. You're not personally guaranteeing it. So you're going to fill everything out and then you're going to back out of the application. And then some will, someone will call you and they'll say, oh, I see that you were trying to get a gas card with our company. And you say, yes. 
Is there anything I can do to help you proceed with this account? Yes, you can. The reason why I backed out of the application because I noticed you tried, they, they, y'all wanted my social security account number. And the reason why I didn't proceed with it is because this is for my business. This is not for my personal. Um, can you, are you able to assist me with that? Yes. What, what, how much were you looking to get for this account? I told him at the time I was just starting off. I just said $500. I only have one vehicle for my business. They said, oh, okay, no problem. She said, hold on a second. She came back and said, I got you approved for a thousand. I know one of my girlfriends, she only asked for, I think she said a thousand. Then they came back. They said, oh, you approved for 2000. So, you know, play the game with them. But the whole thing is you do not want to put your social in because you want this only for your business um, you know, you're establishing your business credit. So that's the trick mm -hmm. of any gas card. All right, any questions about that? All right, also I have one here, nav.com. I've already told you about nav. Nav is the company you're gonna use to watch your business credit report. And you wanna, what I found is most helpful is just use the nav boost. Um, nav boost is a little bit more expensive, but if you, if you out for the quarterly pay, you can get a 20% discount. And that's what I did. And that helps you um, boot, um, it helps you with all three, Experian, Equifax, and Dun & Bradstreet. So go ahead and just do it because you really want to get a score for all three. If you just do the $29.99 one, you only just report in, um, you only will be able to just see your credit report. The $49.91 will only report to Dun & Bradstreet, but like I said, the, the, the 50, I think it's $59.99, I think they give you a discount. That will report all three and give you a score. So you wanna get a score for all three and then you get a little discount if you pay quarterly. So those are the accounts that I recommend that you start off with. What I did was I, I just Google Granger and we have a Granger right here in Maryland. It's over located over in Atlanta. Um, I called them, There's a, I Googled them and I called them and I just told the lady um, that I wanna set up a net 30 account. I have a new business. I wanna set up a net 30 account. They came back and she said, oh, okay, we're gonna give you a thousand dollar credit limit. And then I was um, went online and I ordered a, a few things. I ordered actually for my business, I ordered a file cabinet and I <laughs> a bookcase. So I needed that, you know, for my home office. And that's what I did. So, um, and I went right to Granger and picked it up because they'll charge you additional if you get it delivered. It's like almost $200. I said, I can ride right over to Atlanta because I live in Upper Marlboro and pick it up myself. And mm -hmm. so uh, Uline, same thing. I think they gave me $1,000. Quill started me off with $300. Um, and like I said, the few, I had a few man gas card and they started me off with $1,000. So, and there are a couple of other companies that you can get net 30 accounts. Um, another one is Shirtsy. They, if you want to make t-shirts, you can um, customize your t-shirts. They gave me a, like a $500 um, uh, a spending limit. And the Shirtsy is spelled just the way it sounds, S-H-I-R-T-S-Y, Shirtsy.com. They give new businesses accounts. I have them. I'm trying to think, is there anything else, right? Oh, um, Five Star Processing, they gave me a, um, I think they gave me $600 MasterCard and they don't care what your credit score is. They will soft pull your personal credit, but it's a soft pull and they will give you something to help establish your business credit. They report to Dun & Bradstreet and they also, um, only thing about them, they want you to link your business bank account and they want you to make weekly payments to them. So they take $50 a week out of my business account to keep it, you know, make sure I'm paying it every week. And what I do is I pay my cell phone bill with that card every month. So, you know, I just make sure, you know, to keep it active. Mm -hmm. so, so for those who might not know what Net30 is, can you just tell us real quick what that- So Net30 Net is in an account that you're promised to pay that balance in full within 30 days. So they have Net30 accounts for some companies, Net60 account, Net90 accounts. But this, to start off and to establish the most famous is the Net30 accounts. Thank you. Yep, that was a good question. But some people just don't know. They don't. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know when I first started off, I had to learn all this stuff. I had to learn, you know, I was watching a lot of YouTube and Googling a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Self-training. Yeah, self-training. Yeah. Any other questions? Anybody else? I have a question. 
Sure. So how many, um, when you first starting out, how many accounts should I have? Like uh, for starting out? Yeah, I would just start building. Um, you know, you want to get nine, 10, um, just build as many as you can. Anybody that's going to give you a, that net 30 account, there's plenty more. There's a whole list. Um, I have it in my phone and I'll give my cell phone number at the end. So if you want to text me and I'll give you the list that I have in my phone, share that list with everybody. And then you can just go and start applying. And I'm gonna give some more um, information um, like Divi. I don't have that on here, but I just got approved for that. They asked you Divi is a, um, they have a bunch of FinTech companies now giving credit cards out to new businesses. So that's a new um, FinTech company that um, is giving credit to to companies, new companies. So with them, I only asked for 5,000. I probably could have got more, but they require you to link your business bank account and they want to kind of see what kind of activity you've been doing. And their requirement is if you if you had a business bank account for at least three months, they'll give you something. So they approved me for the 5,000 that I asked for. So after I did them, I got I was feeling kind of you know sassy. I said, okay, let me apply for this capital on tap. And they, hit, they approved me for 20,000. I didn't even ask for a number. They hit me and they approved me for 20. So, you know, now I'm now I'm feeling good for, about myself. So now I got a couple more list of companies I'm, I'm going to try to apply for some more credit. So I don't but, know if I'm jumping ahead, but business banks, are you about to talk about that? <laughs> which, bank? Which, uh -huh, which bank would you recommend? Okay, business? so I, I would recommend, okay, if you want to do a business account, I'm going to recommend Navy Federal. So if yeah. you want to get Navy Federal, you definitely want to get Navy Federal. Navy Federal, and I'm going to tell you a little story about Navy Federal. That's who I do business with. I've had Navy Federal for about six years. So when I opened up my, um, you know, I started my LLC and all of that, I opened up my um, business bank account with Navy Federal. And then mm -hmm. what I decided to do is I decided to ask Navy Federal for a business uh, credit card. So how I was able to start my car rental business, and I was going to save this for the end, but since you um, ask that question. Um, I used, they gave me a $15,000 credit card. And so what I decided to do is I decided to go buy a Nissan Versa for $12,000. I just bought it outright. I used my Navy Federal credit card and I bought that car and then I just put it on Toro and I, that, that car stays rented out. So um, I bought it and I put it in my business name and, you know, I take my profits, half of it goes to pay the credit card off and half of it's my, my profit. So that was a way for me to start another business. I Great love it. You go boss lady, boss lady. I love it. <laughs> uh, yep, yep. So I use other people's money. Navy Federal. Navy Federal gives away money because they're backed by the military. So, yeah. you know, um, they've given, they've been good to me. They've given me for personal credit. I have a $25,000 Amex. I'm about to increase that limit and also get their flagship um, a card. They, that, that goes up to 40000 so they, they, they give away a lot of money. So if you need help opening up a Navy Federal, I can help you with that as well. I believe in helping as many people as I possibly can. And you only need an access number and I got one for you. <laughs> so somebody helped me. So I, I believe in passing, you know, things on to help other people. My other girlfriend who's on here, Roz, she, she, um, I helped her open up a Navy Federal. She got the 25,000 Amex. She just got her new car. Um, she doing big things with Navy Federal now. So, you know, she can, she can share her testimony at the end as well. Marlena, you can ask your question. All right. So, um, my dear, since you're already in the Maryland Coins Facebook group, can you put that list in the Facebook page? Um, yeah, I should be able to do that. Yes, that'd probably be easier way. Yep. Yeah, because I think I stole that from another. Um, I'm also a part of these um, people who are establishing business credit groups. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I think I stole it from one of them, so I share it in our group too. Yeah. We don't steal. We just share information. That's you, know, what you know what I mean? I, 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 I share. It, so. I shared, I, I, I borrowed it from them. I'm going I'm to I'm place it in our group. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Marlene had a question, but Marlene, you can ask her directly instead of putting it in the chat, please. Okay. Um, yes. If you are not military, how can you open the a business account with them? Wait a minute. I, I didn't hear her. Can you repeat that? Yes. If you are not uh, military, how can you open a business account with them? Um... You got to know somebody. You know me, right? Oh, okay. 
<laughs> I know me. I have an account there too. Okay, right. So what we can do is if you have no people that have an account, you just need that access number and you got to tell them that you got to tell a little, you know, white lie, unfortunately. You got to tell them that we're related. Right. <laughs> you, know, you only can let family members in. Yeah. Okay. I, I got to I gotta be stuck while you're gonna work it out later. <laughs> What'd you say? You can't so don't say it on tape. <laughs> we'll work it out. Okay. okay we'll work all, right, it out. all right. <laughs> but go ahead, continue. All right, I'm gonna continue. All right. So step two, um, next lines of credit. Um now even before I go to these lines of credit, like I said, Divi is one. Um, Capital One Tap is one that I got even before these lines of credit. So Costco is something you can get with your business credit. Sam's is one you can get with your business credit. My girl from Paulette, she's on here. She got, I think, a proof of 2,500. She only used her EIN number. She was able to get that. Uh, BJ's Staples wants you to have been in business for three years, but if you personally guarantee it, they will give you one. Um, so it's up to you if you really want that Staples account, but I would recommend just using Quill because Quill is the, the sister company under Staples. You can get mm. printers and scanners and anything you want from Staples, you can get from Quill. So if you don't want to personally guarantee Staples, just wait. If you want to wait the three years, it's up to you. Walmart. Um, you can get a business account with Walmart, Target, Best Buy, um, FedEx, Amazon, and the list goes on. I think um, Paula, I think she told me she got an Amazon account. I keep saying I'm, I'm going to go ahead and apply for my Amazon. I think she said she got 5000 Look yourself. But you'll never yes. soar, my brown bound friend. You will never be a love gift. I don't want to be. That's the thing about being live with everybody. <laughs> Thank you for muting yourself. Continue. Yes, yeah, so Amazon um, is another account that um, Paulette told me she just got. So, and then here are some other ones that are some really good ones. You can get account with Apple, uh, HP, Capital One, Spark. Um, I heard that that was a good card. Um, I don't have any of these yet, but I am planning on applying for these. Um, City Business the blue for American uh, Business American Express. And there are tons of other American Express business cards. I heard um, uh, someone just sent me a whole list of American Express cards that are really, really good um, business cards to get. But you know, you don't wanna apply for these until you get that paydex score up. And that's why mm -hmm. I have like steps. So once you get that paydex score up, then you wanna start applying for these accounts because Again, once you get an 80, 90 paid X score, sky's the limit. You get these approved with no problem. But got to get that paid X score up. Oh Any questions before I go on to the next slide? Let me see. That, this little thing. Oh, here it is. No. All right. So a couple last things um the whole goal is and i'll talk to the, talk about this with everybody is to create uh multiple streams of income we never want to rely on one stream of income because if the pandemic didn't teach me anything else it should have told all of us that you can't rely on one stream of income because at any moment things could shut down and you don't want to be stuck so mm -hmm. again um Building business credit allowed me to start a rental car business. Just I bought the car outright using Navy Federal's money, and I was able to start a, a rental car business using the Toro platform. Um, I was looking to start a vending machine business. Mm, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to start it or just that's something I'm going to have my son start, but um, that's something I'm also looking into, and that's great passive income. Um, Airbnb, um, definitely going to do that. That's something I'm working on now. Of course, I've had my credit repair business um, for two years now. Love that business. This weekend, we, me and my team, we're ready to go to Orlando to a convention. Um, really, really good business um, to be a part of because we not only talk about credit repair, but we talk about multiple streams of income. Um, iron sharpens iron. That's what it's all about. We talk about so many different things. 
Um, and it's just much more. So that that's what this is all about. So, and that concludes basically my presentation. If anybody has any more questions, I'm trying to get to the next slide. It won't let me go forward. I don't know why. Let's see. So I want to leave. Okay. If anybody I has have questions and answers, my name is here, my cell phone and my email. Feel free to write that down and reach out to me anytime. I'm always kind of glued to my phone. So if you have any questions, feel free to text or call me and I'll be happy to get back to you. So Go ahead, Marlene. Uh, okay. Um, for the credit repair, uh, is there any uh, restriction for us as um, notaries in Maryland? No restrictions. Anybody can join the team. No, no restrictions. Oh, okay. I would like to know more about it. <laughs> yeah, you will personally be on my team and, you know, I will teach you everything I know. And we actually, you partner up with a company. They do most of the work and get your own business website. But again, the, the extra knowledge that, you know, of being part of the team that you get is, is phenomenal. I mean, we, we learned a lot, like all those multiple streams of income um, we talk about and, and most of us are applying it. You know, I'm not the only one that um, has um, the car rental business, all my team members there, you know, trying to start their car rental business, Airbnbs, we doing a darn thing, notaries, <laughs> we are doing the thing. So feel free to contact me if you wanna be a part of the team. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Well, if everybody has my information, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Hello, Kasha. All right. So this is the point where I say this is Marilyn Coins Notary Show. My guest is why dear Eli. She just gave us some great information about the power of business credit. Um, she just gave her information. If you do want to contact her. But if you're not part of the Maryland Coins Facebook group, please join us today and also subscribe to our Maryland Coins Notary Show YouTube channel. Um, if y'all don't have any other questions, we're going to let uh, Miss Eli. Actually, is a doctor? Yes. You know, I like to get, I like to get credit, <laughs> credit. Do you earn that title? This is Dr. Why Dear Eli. Um, she gave us some great information about the power of business credit. Kasha, did you have a question? Oh, no, I just see your face. All righty, so we're going to end this um, taping and we're going to start the after party. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Marin Coins. Once again, Dr. Idira Eli with Business Credit. Have a good evening. We see y'all next Sunday. Have a good evening. Y'all both say bye. Bye. You know, I, I forgot you was recording. I want to say some of the things I said about, you know, Davey Federer.